Hey everybody, I'm Ashley Pickens, the Real Estate Marketing Maven, and today I have one of my favorite agents ever, Canada's Real Estate King, Ty Corsi. Thanks hey for everybody. Thanks for having me here, Ashley. I'm excited to be here. Finally. We I can know. Have I know. Yeah. We've been Instagram friends forever. Yes, so, absolutely. Yes, so good to have you here. Tell everybody a little bit about Ty Corsi. All right, guys. So I'm up here in Vancouver, Canada, beautiful west coast of Canada here. I've been selling real estate since uh, 2013. So this is my 16th year selling real estate. So I've seen two or three different markets happen up here in, in beautiful BC. If you haven't been, you got to come up here. It is absolutely spectacular, the, the type of real estate I get to sell. So very grateful. Yes, yeah. yes. We got to come up there. So tell me, like, what is like the average? Because the markets are so different. Here in Memphis, our average house sells for about 154, 160,000. What's the average house price there in Canada? Okay. So I just I just sold a one bedroom, 400 square foot apartment for 380,000. So okay. our um, our houses in the area that I live are roughly around a million is the average sale price, one million. If you get closer to downtown Vancouver, that jumps to about three to five million. So it's quite expensive here on the West Coast. Um, our average mortgage here is probably between six and seven hundred thousand. Um, so it is it is a lot that people take on here. Uh, they probably maybe make a little bit more, but the cost of real estate is crazy, and the cost of living is extremely high. We have a lot of overseas money that comes here and drives the prices up. Unfortunately, it's very expensive for people to live. There's no doubt. So. Wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Totally different. Totally. Different. So is it a buyer's market, seller's market there? Yes. I would say right now our market is a little bit uh, stale right now. We had a steady run for the past five years. We saw prices on houses go up about a hundred thousand a year for five years straight. Um, that has since tailed off. We've probably tailed back about 15% or so. So the market right now is pretty stale. It's actually a good buyer's market. There's no more competing offers. We had uh, competing offers on real estate here for almost two straight years. I think um, I had 43 straight deals that happened without any conditions. So no financing, no inspection, 43 straight deals in a row. That lasted about a year. Right. So that's how crazy our market was. Nobody was getting a property inspection for a solid year. Wow. So it is it's crazy. Yeah. So it's definitely, it's peeled back, it's pulled back, and buyers have more opportunities definitely to look around. So it's, it's, it's a lot easier to... Uh, be a buyer in this market. Yeah. That's insane. So yeah. real quick, how many agents are in your area where you are? So in, uh, in my office, it's uh, one, me. <laughs> <laughs> so I, this is, this is uh, my company, Valley Pacific, uh, partnered with my dad, who is pretty much semi-retired and just eats banana bread all day. But uh, so it's just me. And in my Fraser Valley area that I work, there's approximately 3,300 agents that are here. And in, in this location, that would be about 40 minutes outside of downtown Vancouver. So we have about 3,300 agents that I'm working with instead of working against. I'm working with. So we all work together. So. Gotcha. Gotcha. So out of all the agents there, I see you have there's a couple of little awards behind you. I see the plaques behind you. I see them. Yeah. That's, uh, that's what we call the medallion awards. So those are the top uh, sales awards for the agents that uh, are in the Fraser Valley, uh, that it's basically it's the top 10% of agents, uh, but uh, I have received the top 1% award for the past few years, which is just the top um, 30 or so agents in our, in our location. So yeah, I've been very grateful. This is my 12th year in a row receiving that award. So I've been in it now 16 and I've, 12 years I've been in the top, which is uh, pretty humbling. I work with some uh, incredible, incredible people and most of my business is referral. Awesome, awesome. So in case everybody missed it, Ty is in the top 1% of his area, just in case you missed that part. So, um, okay, Ty. So I got a question. I'm sure people, I know a lot of agents want to know. Um, let's talk like daily routine. What do you, what does your typical day look like? What time does it start? What time do you leave? You know? Yeah, so... For, for me, uh, I still treat this like a, like a regular job. I get up every single day. I put on a suit. 
I uh, go to the office every single day. I'm one of these people that cannot work from home. No matter what, I cannot work from home. Uh, so I come to the office every day, I dress up, I show up, I'm in the office 9.30 at the latest. I try to get here by nine and um, I do all my regular routine which is, uh, of course, my birthdays, my expiries, my fear for sale by owners. I work a certain uh, branding marketing area that I send stuff to. So it's my little farm. I farm the same area every single week. Uh, those are things that I would do in a regular routine. I work out every single morning before I come to work. It gives me the energy to uh, take on my day. Because as you know, being self-employed, being a real estate agent, it can be stressful. We're, right. we're losing hair every day. It's hard. It's hard. This business is hard. It's very competitive. It can be stressful. So I think exercise is key, uh, develop a routine, and you got to treat this like a real job or else you're just not going to make it. So you got to show up every day. Yeah. 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 Um, so what time do you wake up in the morning? Uh, every day. I'm not, up, I'm not crazy early. I'm up uh, just before seven, I would say. Um, and, you know, exercising for an hour, whether it be go for a run, bike ride, go to the gym. And then, uh, and then I'm up and I'm at the office. I don't uh, live too far away from where my office is, which is great. I'm just a 10 minute drive. I'm in the office here and I'm, I'm out all day networking, meeting people, uh, a lot of lunches, a lot of coffees with people, just trying to touch base. Um, my regular, my past clients are my most important clients. So I'm, I'm in touch with all of them, um, 983 of them. And I know every single one. I, I have at least what we call 10 to 15 touches a year which is some point of contact with every single one of those past clients because that brings almost 90% of my business. So I work with some, with some great people. Yeah. Awesome I remember like when we first talked, like you made me kick my whole work hustle into gear when you used to tell me that you wouldn't leave the office until you like sent out so many letters every day or work your expired. Still, still like that. It's still like that. Um, I have now a, a full-time uh, a client care. Uh, manager, I call her. Uh, she is amazing. Diane's her name. So uh, the basically every single day, 100 stamped letters go out the door. And that does every single day that does not change. That's five days a week, 100 stamped letters go out the door to certain complexes, certain neighborhoods that I work. And that is a steady rotation between 16 complexes that rotates. Everybody gets one of my letters once a month. So I, I've kept doing that uh, for solid for the past, I would say six or seven years. Yeah. And I also do my farming area, which is a giant, huge mail out that goes out uh, every 10 days, which is six to 8,000 postcards. So I do send mass mailing. I've turned a lot more over now to video marketing. So if any of you out there that don't do video, it's so important to do video. The amount of business you can get from video is, it really is just overwhelming what can happen when you get exposed on the camera, start doing Instagram stories, Go on Instagram, follow me at Sold by Ty. You can see my everyday routine. You can see the videos that I do. I have a videographer. I do professional videos. I do videos I record myself. I incorporate a little bit of everything in every video. And um, when I go meet people nowadays, when I go into their house and ask every single one of them, how did you get my name? A lot, a lot of chances they look at me and say, we watch on Instagram. We watch your stories every day. We love what you do every day. And what does that do? That gets me in the door. I don't have to explain any sort of my business to them. They know what I do behind the scenes. So I talk about real estate for less than 5% of the time, 95% about their life. And every single time I'm in the door, I get the listing signed, no matter what. If I'm against five other agents, they'll sign the listing with me. Because they already know what to do day in and day out. That's the importance of video. You yeah. know who somebody is if you watch them every single day. You know if they're authentic, they're genuine. So get in front of a camera practice if you're scared of doing it I was terrified as well but you'll get better you get more confident and people will just know who you are by that free exposure it's it's a tool that you need to get on social is a huge tool you should be doing it every single day something social crazy Thank in one you. year alone, I had 41 listings in one year alone off Instagram 41 just off Instagram so if some people tell you it doesn't work it works yeah. Thank you. I think you know I'm a proponent for video and you know i was going to ask you because everybody's always like i'm scared what do i do i don't want to be in front of the camera i just just do it just practice and that's all it is one more you know, tip i can give you guys if you don't uh, have one um don't do video by just holding your phone and making it squiggle around and give everybody a headache go pick up a dji mobile gimbal it looks like this so you attach your phone in this little guy right here and it makes your videos um very smooth 
so it doesn't give everybody a headache when they're watching. That's the best $150 tool you could ever order, ordered online. The videos that I record myself, and I'm gonna go do one right when we do this. I'm gonna go do a sold at a house I sold down the street. I'm gonna throw this in the air, sell it. I'm gonna record a video and watch. You're gonna have like, I'm gonna have like 500 views in the first five minutes. It's crazy. You're so. Right. You're right, you're right. So if you, if you were a brand new agent, just got your license yesterday, just got in the industry, what would you do? I feel like I know what you're about to say, but go Well, if you're, well, introduce, well introduce yourself by doing video. Uh, start your Instagram, start your Facebook, do video every day. One post a day, no matter what. Let people know who you are. Go through your entire sphere of every person you know. Write it on a piece of paper. Write them all down. Send them an email. Send them a letter. Tell them you're in real estate. Tell them you love to work with you're passionate about it, you're eager about it, and then go out and get a branding video. And what I mean by that is, who's, who's Ashley? Who's Ty? Who is this person? And do a powerful, professional video about you, and you can use that to brand yourself, whether it be somebody talk about having you over to have an evaluation, somebody that just inquires on how you're doing now, and send that to everybody that you know, and your just brand will just start to grow organically. That's the key is you don't have a lot of money to spend online, but organic growth, it can just explode from video. Yeah. So start with that, start with that get out, meet people, um, create, a, create a real good brand, spend some money on some business cards. I, uh, I've always been a guy where I walk into a house and I hand them one of my business cards and people look at it for about two or three minutes. They, they flip it over, they say, is this your business card? So my business card is a plastic, you can see it. It's a plastic branded card. I made it like a Visa, it's like a credit card. So all these numbers are uh, embossed, as you can see. This is totally plastic. When I hand this to somebody, they look at it and say, you gave me your credit card. It's a it's conversation piece. They put it in their wallet. They never throw it away. And that's something well worth your money. Well worth it. That is awesome. I love that. I love that. Yeah. Um, so I'm almost there. We're going to wrap up in a few minutes. Um, I figure you are. Are you a book reader? What's a good book? The last I'm, book? I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a book reader. I'm a book reader. I, uh, a couple of books I've read recently that are really good is uh, Millionaire Mind. It's called Millionaire Mind by uh, Dr. Thomas Stanley, I think his name was. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's a book on just it interviews different successful business owners and how they got there. And it's, it's funny, like even though they have multi, multi millions in the bank, they still never change their lifestyle. They still never change their day in and day out routines, which is right. important going to the office every day, not necessarily getting a new car every year. Do they just, they've stayed, the humble meter has dialed down, whatever they do behind the scenes, they reward themselves with, but they don't pump it to the public. And I think that's really important if you want to be successful if you yourself. Um, reward yourself with things that's great, but you don't have to show off to everybody. Remember over half the people out there will never be able to afford it themselves. So just be humble, reward yourself at home and it's, it'll just, it'll be tenfold. Your business will just explode tenfold. And another one is a four hour work week, of course, by uh, Tim Ferriss. Yeah. Uh, that's a good book. Um, just tr sort of, if you're somebody that's just hustling seven days a week, you're going to burn out. I experienced that 2016, 2017, 2018. I did burn out a little bit. I dialed it back. I implemented better systems with my business and it made a huge difference huge and I make sure I take off at least one day a week usually right now it's two days a week I take off I golf once a week it refreshes my mind it recharges me way better awesome awesome um I don't know if you want to share do you use like any systems like CRM systems that you love or um I have developed my own um my own evaluation package I've put together it's a very it's a bound book it's very professional um like I said to you before, to be honest with you, when you go into somebody's house, 5% you talk about their house and what they want to do and 95% of their life, that's worked out every single time with me. I know right away when I walk in, if I'm going to get the listing, chances are I'm going to, if you just be yourself and not to talk too much about personal and not too much about your business point of view. So my, my evaluation package is, it's uh, really concise. It's right to the point. It's detailed. I use a, I use Trello. Uh, Trello is a good client care organized yeah. package which tracks you know all of your leads your buyers your sellers it's everything you can pull up is when you make a change your assistant can see it all trello is fantastic if you guys yeah. don't use trello um and then of course bomb bomb which is the number one email program for video content if you guys are not on bomb bomb get on bomb bomb 
I think I've sent maybe 5% of my entire emails this year have been typed. All the rest have been video email. So I do all video email. Everybody I talk to video email and you can put all of your links underneath your social platform. So sign up to bomb bomb and do start doing some video content. Happy birthdays. Everybody gets a personal video from me. Happy birthday anniversaries, all that stuff. I come in every morning. There's a list of videos to send and I send them all out. So get yourself one of these, a ring light. See that? Get one of those. You'll, uh, you'll, look, you'll look good. The lighting's important when you do videos, so get one of those. Um, best investment you'll ever get. Yeah. Awesome. Ty, you are awesome. You are awesome. Um, I think that might be it as far as all the questions that I have. What are you working on? You got something in a pipeline? Are you working on anything you want to share with the people? Yeah, I'm working on something. I think for, uh, for the end of this year, I'm, I've been asked by a um, lot of recent people to do um, some come speak at some events and um, just hundreds and hundreds of agents have reached out to me asking how do I get leads how do I get listings how do I get buyers so I'm putting together an online uh, lead generation course that I'm gonna release it's probably gonna be eight modulars eight videos that I'll be filming and it'll be professional package branded that I'll be able to release to everybody that'll be steps on ways that I get leads and generate leads and sell that to, uh, to newer agents and hopefully help them out I feel like I need to really um, share some of this info that's worked for me over the years. Years one through five, they're difficult, they're hard, right? And as I've developed over the years and get referrals and get past clients, I've figured out ways to cut my costs and I've figured out ways to generate leads. Um, remember, they always tell you, list to exist. A sign of the ground will always be remember that person. A buyer's agent, if you work buyers all the time, you'll never be remembered because nobody knows your sign. So list to exist to get that branding out there. And that's what I am. I'm a lister. I love to list houses. I love to market houses. And that's what will make you known in your industry. You are awesome. Yeah. Last question, and then I promise I'm going to let you go. I could pick your brain for like ever. I think on Instagram, my first message to you was like, if you let me pick your brain for like five minutes or something, I think that was my first message. Um, I think it was. Yes. I was going to ask you, so like, do you set like goals? Do you have goals that you try to meet at the beginning of the year? I, literally, or? I am, I'm, uh, I'm crazy goal oriented, crazy. Um, so vision board is at home. Of course, a vision board, everything's on there. All my goals are always in my day timer. I use a, I love to write stuff down. So Google calendar is great, but I'm old school. Uh, believe it or not, every single year uh, I use a day timer. This is a full day on each page. I write down everything. I love being old school. I write it down and uh, all my goals are in this book and all of my goals are in my wallet, my back pocket, and it never leaves me. It's on me all the time. So my 2019 goals are with me all the time. I usually check off nine out of 10 of them every single year. And next year I try to improve on those by increasing it just a little bit more, but uh, big goal settings, big. If you don't write it down, it probably won't come true. If you write it down, it's always in the back of your head to tick those off. And that's what's art. It'll happen. And so, Ty, yeah. you are like basically a one-man show, right? Are you? I, 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 yeah, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit uh, too passionate about this industry. I've been a one-man show for quite some time. Um, my dad, who does work with me, uh, comes and works if there's an appointment from 9 to 2. And not between nap time after that, he'll come with me. But yeah, it's been me for for it's been me for a lot of years. I think by the end of this year, I will be um, expanding that and growing uh, a team, which people will be more excited to see. I'm sure buyer's agent, another listing agent. I will be growing a team, but I'm really really picky on personal service, so that'll be so selective on who who happens to join me because we're in it together. And uh, it'll be something I think I'm, I'm looking forward to. So probably the time Dan will go to Thai Corsi and Associates or something like that. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Ty, thank you so much for being on the show. We'll be on the, my channel and everything. Um, Thanks, where can people find you? Where can they find you? Uh, you can follow me on uh, Instagram at soul by Ty. Uh, Ty and Dan Corsi Real Estate on Facebook. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm all over there. You're going to find me on those two networks all the time. I'm posting daily on those things. You can reach out anytime. My contact info is on Insta. My phone number's on there. If you have a question, I'd be more than happy to answer it for you. I'm always here. So, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Ty. You're the best. Thank you so much. Take care.
All right, guys, I'm Ashley Pickens, the Real Estate Marketing Maven. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.